All right, what we got here is a cylinder off of a John Deere front end loader. Cylinder number AH210216. I believe this was a lift cylinder. And we're going to be doing a reseal on it today. All right, if you like this sort of thing, if you would consider going down there, clicking the subscribe, turning the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of content. All right, on this style, the head... Uh, has a snap ring so we got to take the snap ring off first we'll get our snap ring pliers squeeze and pull off that's got a lot of debris and crap in it so I'll blow that out Next, I'm going to take some of my freeze off, not sponsored. This is just what we use around here quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and just pre-spray it. All right. I'll take my uh, aluminum punch and hit the gland backwards. hammer it back and you need to hammer it back until you uh, there's a groove in there uh, that we've got to put the uh, John Deere calls it a seal removal tool it looks like this it's got this sort of a profile that fits in the groove the uh, thicker part faces towards the front and the beveled part goes towards the rear so I'll clean the uh, groove area out the best that I can I will get some grease on my seal removal tool this will help uh, hold it in place for the most part I'll put the uh, split towards the bottom make sure it's seated all the way and then we'll uh, remove it and then uh, we'll put a rag over this port just in case oil wants to come out of there for any reason and we'll pull the rod out so basically i'm just holding pressure on this as that air bleeds out and the rod's moving okay once it bottoms out, grab a sledgehammer and hold pressure on the rod. And we just hammer the rod to get, we got to get the uh, gland. We got to get the gland to come out. So we're going to hammer it out. The piston is on the back side of the bottom side of the gland now. And now we're going to hammer it out. All right, now got the rod out. Take our seal removal tool out here. And as long as it still looks good, we'll uh, put it back in the box and uh, use it for next time. I'll go ahead and put my rag in here real quick. I got a... Uh, little wire wheel on my die grinder here i'll go ahead and clean this uh groove up and this rust here real quick all right that's cleaned up remove my rag and wipe this end down be sure and wiping that groove and that's uh Cleaned up a little better than it was before. Go ahead and remove the tube. We'll put the rod in. All right, I got my inch and an eighth socket, and a half inch drive impact, Thor 1894 uh, impact, and we hit it. Uh, piston nut off, take the piston off, take the gland off, take the snap ring off. 
All right, we'll start with taking our piston seal off. It's a two piece. Take the main seal off, then the expander. Set it to the side. And then we got an O-ring here on the head. Take the O-ring off. And the backup ring. Right there. And this has an another uh, retainer ring on the gland here. That stays on. Then there's an O-ring. Then there's an O-ring right here that comes off right there. Then we'll go inside and take the uh, U-cup out on the very bottom here. U cups out, then we'll take the wiper out. Now, uh, got all the seals off, and then it's just a matter of cleaning this gland up and that piston and getting everything back to normal. So, I'm gonna go to the bench grinder, hit this up with the wire brush on there, and then I'll take wire uh, brush to the inside on the seal grooves, and uh, I'll get the new seals. And we'll get it put back together. Got everything cleaned up, now we're going to put it back together. First, we'll start with the piston. This is a two-piece piston seal, the expander and the uh, main seal. This is a bronze-filled piston seal. A little bit different from the Teflon style that was on before. This is, in my opinion, a better seal. We'll put the expander on, which is just an O-ring. Then... We'll stretch the uh, frond seal on, so basically it's a matter of taking it and rolling that around. All right, where that's stretched out, we got to shrink that back down, so we'll use our seal clasper. We'll put that in there and set that to the side. On to the gland next, we'll take our small O-ring. It goes this groove right here so we'll just stretch that on and over down in the groove okay next is our backup ring it's got a concave side that'll go towards the bottom of the head it goes on first make sure it's seated all the way around and that concave side supports the o-ring which goes on next next we'll put the u-cup in this is the bottom of the head and the bevel goes towards the bottom this is the side that sees the pressure and we'll get that started in the groove and we'll push that in okay got that in got that in next we'll put in the wiper start it in one side and work it around and that's that okay go ahead and get some grease put it on the u-cup be sure and put your snap ring on first then put your gland on we'll remove our seal tool and put our piston back on take our piston nut and we can run that in far enough we can get that gland to we can get that gland to go back on.
Go ahead and put some grease on our O-rings on the gland. And then we're ready to tighten it back down. Go ahead and put that on there and then run it. Go ahead and grease our piston seal back up. We'll remove our rod. Put our tube back in. All right, tube's back in. We'll get a bit of grease. We'll run that in here. Then we're ready to put the piston in. Get it there and then we'll just hold pressure while pushing and walking in. All right. Get the gland in. Up to that point, we got this uh, snap ring we gotta get back in. I've got just a, a regular T-bolt clamp here. This is, uh, what size is this? No, this is a Dixon clamp. Uh, looks like a D43C-75-225-S. So basically I'll take that, put it flush to the tube. Compress it enough to get my get that nut back on there. <clears throat> That's a seven sixteenths. So we'll take tighten that down. And what this is doing is compressing that internal ring. And that ring is what locates in that groove inside the tube and, and locks the pist or the uh, locks the head in place. So basically, I want this to where it's snug but not too tight. So there's some resistance to that. That'll turn that head. So we should be good there. Take our aluminum punch and basically we just hammer that head back. Hammer it back far enough uh, that that ring is past that groove. Then we pull the rod back out. That gland just pulled out and stopped. It's locked in position. Go ahead and take our T-bolt clamp off. We'll take and put our uh, snap ring back on. And that's it. Push the rod back in. We'll go ahead and change these O-rings real quick. These are number six face seal O-rings or flat face. Put the new O-ring in the groove. New O-ring in the groove. Now I'll go ahead and put my caps on. Wipe it down and that's it. That's how you reseal a John Deere. I believe this was off of a 400X front end loader. So if you, if you enjoyed that, if you would go down there, consider clicking the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down there in the comments if there's something you want to see in particular, and I'll do my best uh, as it comes through the door to uh, try and add that to the list. So, thanks for watching. Until next time.